I'm so excited. We've got mail. That's so cool. That's crazy to say out loud. It's Chloe here and welcome back to my channel or welcome back to the weekly vlog just because I'm uploading once a week does not mean the weekly vlogs are gonna stop it's gonna slow it down a bit that's all <laughs> happy Monday start of a new week and I'm gonna vlog because I haven't vlogged for like the past two weeks or so and I thought I'd vlog this week because I actually have plans today <laughs> because we're not in lockdown anymore oh, but there's still restrictions or whatever today is Thursday off and we're actually gonna leave our house for the first time in quite a while we are gonna go to spotlight because I placed a click and collect order because I couldn't get Get, like a specific thing so I had to like click and collect it and stuff like that it doesn't deliver here which is kind of annoying but whatever ignoring the glare I'm so sorry we're going to a regional store so we're actually not going to go to Melbourne the local spotlight is like half an hour away which is in Melbourne technically the vicinity so just to stay safe because we are in regional currently we're just going to go to a regional store which obviously is a bit further away but gonna stay safe <laughs> so I'm gonna pick up a couple things there we're gonna obviously pick up the click and collect order but we're also gonna look around for more things that's mainly what we're doing <laughs> pretty much we might stop at bunnings or something whatever's there we might just stop off at like different stores that's there i think we've been there before i'm not sure though but right now it's like eight i have a doctor's appointment at nine and then we're gonna go from doctors to a spotlight i don't know how much i'm gonna film but i'm definitely gonna give you a haul when i get home and when we get home we might watch wrestling tonight i'm not sure because there's a footy match on at 2 p.m but i don't know what time we're gonna get home and then dad wants to get uh, pizza for dinner so we're gonna get pizza the rest of the week i have no plans exciting but yeah that's pretty much the update for today so i guess enjoy the montage of me doing whatever yeah that's pretty much the update welcome to a new vlog i haven't vlogged in a while i'm sorry but they're still coming just i'm uploading once a week every second week is a new vlog <laughs> If I don't have any videos, I might post two weekly vlogs in a row. Who knows? You guys watch my weekly vlogs either way, depending on if I like upload them like back to back or not. So that's fine. Enjoy whatever cap happens. Oh my god. Enjoy whatever happens next. Happy Monday. Weekly vlog time. Let's go. <laughs> to you kind of forgot how to weekly vlog who <laughs> hello welcome it is currently 5 18 i went to the doctor this morning and then we went straight to the shopping center area it was fantastic it had everything we needed we went to spotlight then a shopping center so i have a bunch of shit over here from spotlight and big w and then i have a full ass bag of pop vinyls from zing because when i tell you that zing mm, i'm gonna show you these first because i have a story obviously everything from spotlight is for my jewelry so you'll see that went into zing it was our like last stop and i went in and i saw that they had a couple wandavision ones and i got agatha which i'll show you because i have been meaning to add her to the collection my hair ill so i saw her and then i turned my head and i saw they had the boys which means that i've been watching for the past two days on amazon prime and there's two seasons season three is coming and i wanted to start watching it because it's really bad because i know i shouldn't be doing it but i started watching it because i know that jensen ackles is going to be in season three which is dean winchester from supernatural and i love jensen so I wanted to start watching it and I didn't think I was gonna like it so much because it's some gory out like it is 
gory as shit. It's kind of messed up, but it's very entertaining. And Dad and I really, really like it. We're like episode six of season two. We're kind of slowly getting into season two because we have to wait for season three. I realized I had a collection of pop vinyls and I was like, shit, I was gonna buy them online. Then I saw them in store. They only had about five um, on display. I was gonna grab them and the lovely cashier lady came up to me. Prior to this, she came up to me when we walked in the store asking for help. And then she saw my nails and she caught one of my nails. She was very lovely. But then she saw me looking at these boys pop vinyls and she's like, I have Homelander and maybe Butcher in the back that I haven't put out yet. Do you want them? I'm like, um, yes. She came out and brought me the special edition Homelander and the normal Homelander and Butcher. And now I have all of them except one because I need to get the deep. He was a um, San Francisco exclusive, but I have a website that has it in a show that I can get it on. So once I get deep, I have all 10. So thanks to the girl at Zing. Oh my actual God, she was a legend. We love her. Okay, I'm just gonna show you, but I'll show you Agatha first because she's the only non-boys pop vinyl because the rest of the boys. If you haven't seen the boys, you have no idea who these people are, I'm sorry. Highly recommend watching it again massive trigger warnings for the show but if you can handle it highly recommend but you know i know you guys don't really like me showing pop vinyls or anything because you think it's a waste of money but this for me is beauty so i get them but i got agatha now i didn't like this pop vinyl when it came out but then i watched wandavision and i'm like this is a sick ass scene like i need this pop vinyl so as you guys know i keep them out of the box for my marvel ones so this is the final battle is it the final battle I don't think this is the final battle with Wanda. I think it's just her being a witch, like in the um, throwback scenes. But this is Agatha. Again, it's a bobblehead. Sorry about the moving. But it's on a plastic stand like Captain America and another Wanda that I have. This is kind of cool. I'm not going to lie. It feels great. Oh, okay. Okay, sis. I need to talk quickly because there's a lot of shit and I've got to like book dinner and stuff. But I have her now. How exciting. The only other ones out of the WandaVision collection to finish my collection personally, I need the Halloween version of Wanda to come back in stock and then I can also buy the Vision one. Because Vision's always in stock, it's just I'm waiting to get them both. Because it's just going to look weird if I just have Vision. So I've got Agatha on hand, decked out. And then the rest of this bag is the boys. So there's about, I think there's nine, because once I get the other one there's ten. So, oh shit. Like I literally added these to my cart yesterday to see how much they would be. Now I can get them out of my cart. So this is the first one. So this is Huey. Again, I'm just going to quickly go through these because there's a lot. And if you've seen the show, he's holding a detonator. And if you've seen the show, you know what that entails. Next up, we have Queen Maeve. I actually kind of like her pop vinyl. She's very, very light. If you are wondering, this is the whole set plus the deep, which is a exclusive. But that's Maeve. That's Queen Maeve, Maeve. And then we have A-Train. Don't like this dude. Again. Oh, he's running. Oh my god. I need to open this. I've also just realized. So I need to open this because it looks like um he's running and like this dust doesn't matter i've also realized because with the office ones i believe when you open them the flap has a quote on it on the flap of all of these it says the deep which i find kind of funny oh wow look at that that's so cool so this is obviously from the first scene because you had the backpack and everything but i didn't realize that this was on here like the you know him running really fast okay i'm gonna put that back in the box before i break it i didn't realize that i don't know if they're gonna bring it any more because i'm pretty sure this is based on season one because this oh, this scene is on season one i should have noticed because the thing's there but i'm pretty sure these are based on season one not season two the next one is translucent obviously this is based on season one and his head is completely see-through this is oh and his hands and his feet are see-through as well this is so fun i love this so i have two versions of homeland and two versions of starlight so i'll leave them to last because one special edition one's normal so the next one we have is Corey's favorite character Corey doesn't watch this show but he kind of just walks in and like sees what we're watching and he's very interested and billy's his favorite character because billy is an asshole <laughs> so this is billy's pop vinyl again i'm sorry about the glare but he's holding his is this what's it called a wrench it's not a wrench a pipe i don't know what it is he does have another one with blood on him it looks the exact same all it's just added blood so i don't think i'm gonna get that one just because it's very very simple so like i said i have two starlights and two homelanders because two of them are special editions so i'm just going to show you the starlight ones so this is the original if you didn't want a special edition so this is her in her original costume with her glowing eyeballs in her hands i actually kind of like this pop one it's kind of sick and this is the special edition one with the new and improved uniform that they make her wear which is her bodysuit i prefer this costume but that's just my idea so those two 
are the Starlight ones, and then I have two Homelander ones. So I'll show you the normal one. So this is the normal Homelander, and he's on a stand like Agatha is because he is flying. Because obviously in the show he thinks he's God. So I don't know if you could tell, but I don't like this guy. But he's a phenomenal actor. I don't know his name, but whoever plays him, dude, you make me hate you. And it's fantastic, all right? So that is the normal standard version of Homelander. And then just like Starlight, you have a special edition one. So this one is him doing his little stance that he does with his hands behind his back and obviously his laser red eyeballs. So this is just the special edition one. I just, mm, I was going to order it online, but just seeing them in store made me so happy. So I'm happy that I have them. But now I'm going to do Spotlight. As you guys know, I did do a click and collect order. So I'll show you that first and then I'll show you guys everything else. I will show you, however, the Big W stuff first. We just walked in there just to see if anything was in there. Now this is all jewelry stuff and I'm planning on doing like jewelry with uh, Paul McClay like you guys saw previously I bought some so I really want to buy some cutters I was going to originally buy them off eBay because like a big set of them but I wanted to see if like any stores had them today while we were out there's a couple not a lot I'll probably end up buying them online but it's fine these three I found a big dab in everything else from Spotlight this is hexagon cutters I'm so excited to use this because I really thought this was just like honeycomb for bees so if I can cut like three out and make it like a hanging dangling Paul McClay earring that would be fun again three different sizes so you can always play around with sizing which is great and then last but not least i have normal cookie cutters and i mainly bought this for the love heart and the flower well for the circle as well but not really the triangle unless i want to make something with the triangle but again this is a like two different sizes so big and small but the small is like average i think the small is a good size my chin is cheap but i got these as well so i'm gonna go through everything i got from spotlight so this spotlight had so much more stuff than my spotlight i want a bit cuckoo -coo, but it's fine so the main thing i went in for was a cutting mat because i wanted to do my clay on this single sided cutting mat do not roll avoid heat okay but this is like a, you know what a printing mat is right so i wanted this to do my clay on because i'm not going to roll my clay on my desk i know majority of the time um glass is really good to do polymer clay on but i don't have a you know piece of glass hanging around anywhere but i think this would be good as well so i got this and spoiler was having a sale as well so i went a bit crazy with that but this was like 30 percent off full price because these are fairly expensive and they were 30 percent off so i got that i'll show you guys a clean click order then i'm gonna rush through the other things because i have to order dinner which is great so i basically had to clean collect these because i couldn't get delivered to me so i bought two packs of like hardware that already came in a pack instead of me buying like single packets i got in silver and gold and then i also got a hole punch very exciting i know so this is my hole punch it's a very 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 small circle um so i just grabbed this because i needed a small one and you'll see why in this vlog because i'm gonna give you a huge announcement Ooh, shout out to my friend lauren for giving me the idea um, and then the other sets that i found are these so ooh, they actually have a lot so these are the findings i don't know if you're able to see so it's got like everything you really need to like start jewelry i guess and i got them in silver and gold i already have a bunch of hardware but i wanted to get these because they have like extras and they have bigger sizes which is great it's fun and again i couldn't get them shipped to me so so now i'm going to rush through everything else i got so so i got wax cord i really want to make like keychains so i got this to make them i don't know i'm weird um, i got stretchy jelly elastic i really want to make a beaded rings like just to, like stretch my fingers i think that'd be sick six pack of that i got some curb chain i'm gonna put this into earrings like dangly earrings because i'm wanting to make like marvel earrings which is very exciting and i think this is gonna look really cool this is like the middle chain size with a really small one this and like a really chunky one and this was like the perfect size so this is what i got this is curb chain curb chain that's a really weird name anyway so moving along with the like the big w stuff i got these flower plunger cutters and i actually saw a video on youtube of someone actually using these with clay so i picked them up and like little flowers so you got big one medium one and, like two really really small ones so i think this would be like good with layering i don't know and i think this would be easier because you just cut it and then like plunge it out which sounds disgusting if you want me to do a video of me making clay earrings for the first time because i haven't even made them let me know if you think that would be interesting i don't know if it would be but who knows speaking of flowers i got these flowers here but i mainly got them for the butterflies because it's really hard to get small enough holes in the charms to fit on a eye ring hook long one thing and these are really tiny and i really want a butterfly so most of them are really big but these are the butterflies and then these are the little flowers i already have flowers but i wanted more apparently i have a bunch of small little packets but i also have four of these which are exciting so i'll go through the packets first and then i'll talk about the little sets because i had a lot of sets i'm very excited about so i got did i get two packs of these i think i've got two packs of these these 
these are the plastic earring backs. They're really clear. I just wanted to get these to start because I'm planning on getting like a bulk pack, but I wanted a couple just so I can like take photos for my friends because I'm not myself. What else did I get? I have a bunch of these, what are these called? Flat discs for earrings so I can stick my clay circles or whatever on top so this can actually go through the ear piercing. I got four packets of them because these only come in six packs. Which is kind of really a bummer with Spotlight because these are like $3 each or something. Mm, it's a bit pricey, but I'm planning on getting them in bulk. I'm looking on different websites, don't worry. I got these round plastic little balls to put on top of all my earrings. Just like it's like plain, then I can put like bigger jewels. There's 30 in each, so that's actually better. And then I was running out of my stars. I actually love these. These are actually on my, these earrings, surprisingly. And these are just little stars that I use or wear or whatever you want to call it. They're going to focus, probably not. Hello? They're there we go. So these are the stars I use. There's 20 in each and I got three bags. They're all in dark silver as well. So they're all little bits and bobs and now these... This is the main thing. I actually went in looking for these and I'm really glad I found them. So I found these. This is alphabet beads. I mean, every little square is the alphabet, obviously. And oh, there's little hearts. I didn't realize that. That's cute. I have alphabet ones like already in my collection, but I didn't know if I needed them. But they don't have all the letters, you know, which is kind of weird. But I got every single letter of the alphabet because that's me. And then I got acrylic pearls because I made pearl earrings out of a pearl bracelet that grandma had. And I really, really love those pearl earrings. So I wanted to make some more and I have white, like a yellowy white pink and purple look how stunning these are oh my god see you later can't. and i can also make bracelets out of these and like put these in my rings or whatever so i'm really excited and the main thing i've been wanting for so long you've been hearing me talk about beads this whole time and the smallest beads you can get is seed beads and i could never get like a pack you can always get like small ones they're like ten dollars for a pack of five it's like very expensive i found these these are seed beads from crafter's choice so see how small these are but like more or less see how small the hole is so this hole is going to fit in a eye pin easy enough and even rings and stuff which is so exciting because i can make rings which i'm so excited about so i got two packets of them i think these were on sale for like five dollars which is so good i was gonna buy the whole store and you've got like all the colors you can literally think of so that is my haul today that's a lot of stuff but it's fine i also have a couple things coming in the mail hopefully this week but by the time they come i don't know when they're gonna come but who knows but i'm gonna go order some dinner and then you're probably gonna see me go pick it up with dad maybe it's dark outside probably not actually and then we're gonna eat it maybe watch wrestling i don't know and we're gonna see where the day takes us or the night actually the night let's order some pizza <laughs> hello everyone happy tuesday i haven't updated you at all this morning pretty much or really at all let's be honest it's currently two o'clock the boys just went for a walk and when they get home dad's gonna have a shower get ready for work and then we're probably gonna watch a couple episodes of the boys just so we can catch up but i want to talk to you guys before we do that because this is the huge announcement. I'm really scared. <laughs> I'm also really nervous to tell you guys. I've just written up basically my Instagram post for the announcement. You guys probably already have an idea, but I am starting my own small business, which is so, it's just crazy to say that. That's crazy to say out loud, oh my God. Basically, I'm gonna be starting a small business of me making just handmade jewelry. I'm gonna start with earrings and just like kind of play around with some other things because you guys know that I've been playing around with earrings for the past couple of months since getting like a box of grandma's jewelry and i've just been like playing around with them making them wearable for me and since then i've just been making my own jewelry you guys have been very interested so i took the leap of faith and i'm going to open up a website and sell it to you guys that's insane. <laughs> I'll explain it a little bit on here because everyone on my Instagram and stuff will obviously see it before this because I'm posting the Instagram today. That's why I'm telling you guys now. But basically, my company is called P&T Co. I'll insert like the logo and stuff. Basically, it is named after both my grandmothers and the drawing I made myself, my logo, is a photo of grandma and nan put together. So it's like incorporation with both my grandparents. Obviously, grandma is mum's mum and nan is dad's mum. So I wanted to incorporate both sides of the family and honestly I wouldn't be starting this without grandma's jewelry. I don't think I would be even thinking about it if I didn't get a shoebox full of her jewelry. The P and the T in my name stands for grandma's first name and nan's first name so it's just they're incorporated in the name and the title the logo and basically everything and I can now show you like my thank you cards and like my earring cards and stuff because I got like a massive order from Vistaprint and I've been making a bunch of earrings 
me lately and I just haven't been able to show you guys because I haven't told you and now I can oh my god I haven't been filming a lot this morning because I have a massive migraine so that's why I'm like not oh like not like excited excited but like I'm so nervous to post this because I don't know if people are gonna want to buy from me if you want a lot more in-depth details just go to my Instagram or live down below I'll leave all of my small business links down below which is so crazy but I'll leave them all linked down below my main aim is to open my shop in August or September I'm not really sure which month yet but I think I'll wait and see if I'm ready to open like in August if I'm not I'll push it back to September so basically all the stuff I bought yesterday from spotlight is pretty much going towards my business which is so exciting I think most of you guys guessed it but just to have it officially on my YouTube channel is so crazy but now I can show you guys everything I might actually show you guys everything tomorrow because I'm not feeling well right now but that's basically why I redid the entire study to make a jewelry area I needed a jewelry area anyway regardless if I open up a business but that is like my business area and I'm so excited <laughs> I've slowly but surely made like a TikTok, an Instagram, a Facebook account all for my business and now I had to like start posting on them which is going to be so stressful <laughs> but I think I'll be okay. So what I'm going to do now is just play around with my Instagram posts and then I'm going to upload them. So I'm going to come back to you guys when I upload them and make it not so stressful for me because I'm just so stressed for uploading this. I don't really know why. Maybe I'm just thinking that no one's going to like it. Let me just like write up a description and stuff and then I think I can post it. Oh my god, that's so crazy. I've just scheduled all my posts. I'm going to post on my actual Instagram page, like my business page. And then I'm going to post on my personal and like repost it. So I'm going to start screen recording on this side because I think it's going to be really fun to have this like in memories, like my vlog. Because this is my actual profile, so I'm going to just switch to PNT Co. I've already like done my like pre, like three whatever so obviously my drafts i've already drafted up these so i'm gonna post this one this is just a the pink background with the little eye emoji so i'm going to literally post that right now um i'm like shaking then i'm gonna post my middle one which just has an, a, a smaller introduction than what i will have my personal one because that's a long ass uh post and then i'm going to post the third and final one which just says how excited are we just so i can have like that three look on my page like that that's so cool. Ignoring the complete your profile shit. I'm gonna cry. Okay, so I've just posted, like, I don't know what I'm showing you. I've just posted all three on the side. So I'm gonna switch it to my main account and I'm going to post the announcement. Oh my god. So with this one, I've posted like, I'm like little behind the scenes of like earrings and stuff. So this is what I'm posting. So this is my theme cards and stuff. I'll show you guys. It's probably tomorrow. This is just a pair of earrings I made. This is what my earring cards look like with the earrings i think i did these last night which is really exciting how fun and this is me opening my business cards it's crazy dude so i'm going to tag them because that would be smart wouldn't it them i mean me why am i saying them and i'm gonna post it 215 let's post it oh my god i'm so scared i just posted it <laughs> I'm shaking. Oh my god. Okay. I'm gonna look at all the things at the top. I wanna die. I'm so excited. I'm like, I can't. This is... Oh, this is insane. I have three followers, guys. Okay, I'm gonna go relax for a bit and watch the boys with dad and then maybe I'll update you a little bit later. I don't really have anything to edit besides this video. Sorry, I moved my hair a lot. I'm sorry. So I have to do dinner. I'm gonna have HelloFresh tonight. So I'm going... Everyone keeps following it. <laughs> You're gonna see that, but then after that I might, if I don't want to watch anything, I'll just update you guys with the business stuff that I can show you, which is so exciting, so. Oh, hi. Hey, hey, how are you doing? He's dad. Really? Oh, hi. It's 3.14. Yeah. I'm out of focus. Whoa! Okay, Amazon. We're gonna watch the boys and watch graphic violence. <laughs> Nothing new there. <laughs> Hello vlog, 
how are we i just got a snapchat fantastic but welcome it's what time is it it's 7 41 even the lighting it is so bad but i'm in the study right now but you guys just saw me make dinner and i still have a massive headache so i'm not in the mood to do anything but i think i'm just going to look around at etsy and stuff and see if i can find any charms that i can make into earrings and maybe buy some because i have to buy some more supplies but i'm at my desk and now i can actually show you my dish because i've told you guys i'm making a business also i have like 200 something followers on my account already and i just posted today so i just want to give you guys a massive shout out uh thank you guys so much for basically supporting my business before it even starts sorry my phone's going off however i'm just a little bit nervous to still actually make a business but it's in a couple months so i think i have enough time but i wanted to sit down here and show you guys what my layout is and especially my cards and stuff so it's kind of a mess because i have all the stuff that i bought yesterday from spotlight on the top it was messy yesterday i had a massive clean out but it's up the cleaners just keep that in mind however i'm going to show you what my little workstation is like which is so exciting so if you have seen my study declutter, this is where the bookshelf was. My computer's back there. This is my little jewelry section now. Anyway, this is basically my little area. It looks absolutely terrible. I have to clean all of that, but this stuff has stuff in it as well. Um, this has my clay items, which I have to start using. That is full of shit, and this bottom one's empty because I'm going to put my packaging in there. I have this big unit, which you guys saw in my declutter, but I recently bought this smaller version from Spotlight. So these ones are just a lot smaller, obviously, compared to that, so I keep the smaller charms in here obviously the bigger ones go in there and then this is my little card area i'm ignoring these little charms i'm gonna make some earrings but i have a lighter <laughs> don't look at that sorry about it but i have a lighter to uh, poke holes in some charms if i need to and i also have the hole punch that i bought yesterday this is to hole punch the earring cards just so it looks like this my friend lauren told me this trick it's just a ten dollar hole punch from spotlight so this is my little business card setup how fun that should not be there so i'll show you these first because you already can see them these i made myself i've designed all of these myself so these are my jewelry care and instructions that are going to go in every packet and these are just on like not cardstock paper but thicker paper than normal paper if that makes any sense i just printed these up myself at home and cut them myself but everything else i'm about to show you is from vista print but if you see my instagram post these are my earring cards so these are what my earrings are going to be on and i've actually already made some so i'll show you and this one over here is my template oh god i keep dropping everything so as you can see i kind of messed up the first slot but these are like dead set where i want them so this is my template so this is what it ends up looking like so this is just my pair of aliens again it's just play on the back and i've just added some of those clear stoppers i showed you guys yesterday from spotlight just so that it doesn't fall out and again i have packaging to put this in to put it in a parcel if that makes sense so i'll show you guys when that comes hopefully it will arrive this week who knows though but that's what it looks like how cute i'm actually obsessed with this i designed this myself and everything i'm so proud i'm so proud because i'm not really a creative person when it comes to designing things and the fact that i did this all myself is crazy <laughs> next thing i'll show you is my thank you cards i only bought 40 of these because when i ordered them they looked a bit blurry but they're not so i have to buy more so this is just the front it just says thank you and then this is the back it just says thank you for your purchase it's not in focus <laughs> then over here i just added thank you for supporting and shopping with a small business we hope this purchase brightens your day as much as your order has made ours and then all of our details and then the slogan that my grandma always used to say which is with love as always and i'm going to sign the bottom of these so I only have 40 of these again these are from Vista print as well as these and my business cards anyway so that's the thank you cards I can't put it back and these are my business cards so this is what my business card looks like so I have my logo the name this just says handmade jewelry for unique people sorry about the glare and the back just says my name and then all the details I know the details are on the thank you cards so I wanted this to be really really simple I also made these on Canva then I transferred them to Vista print I made this photo my like my logo on procreate and then and I obviously transferred it and then put it on Canva and then I added it to Visiprint and this is what came up. So that is that. I have 500 or 400 business cards and I have a thousand of these because obviously I'm going to go through these more than I am business cards. But that's my little setup for my cards. Anyways, that's everything like card wise that I can actually show you now. How exciting. I am going to obviously keep finalizing this whole area. It's not the final look of this, but it's going to have to do with what we have. So yeah, that's pretty much what's happening. I made these last night with the seed beads that i got from spotlight yesterday so these are the seed beads and i just added some flower charms and people love these i'm really excited but that's what's going on right now there's no plans tomorrow i don't think 
Hello. If I do anything interesting, I'll update you. But I think the only thing I'm going to be doing tomorrow is I might start editing this vlog because, again, if you didn't realize already, I started cutting down my videos to one week because of this. Because this brand is going to take majority of my time, let's be honest. Or take up majority of my time, sorry. I still obviously want to update you guys on my YouTube channel because majority of you guys are from my YouTube channel. That's where you're from. So I just wanted to give some love to you guys. I'm just going to stop talking because it's me. But I'm going to do something and I will update you very soon. I don't know when, maybe tomorrow, but I just want to show you the overview of what my bench looks like. Desk, bench, or whatever. I'm excited. vlog and happy Wednesday. I haven't spoken to you at all today, but hi. Welcome. The lighting is so bad. Should I flip you this way? Is that better? Probably not. Okay, whatever. You're gonna have to deal with it, all right? But hi, it's like 12 o'clock. I gotta fix this here. So this morning, I did a little bit of a montage. We went to go pick up my meds and I picked up a couple of little bits and bobs from my little work area. So I'm gonna show you what I got. I needed a like stationary holder. So I got this one because I wanna put my pliers in this because every time I need my pliers, I have it in like this. This is what it came in. And every time it just is so annoying take these out but when I'm using them I'm just gonna literally put them in here it's just gonna be so much easier and then along those lines I also needed tweezers because I'm currently like picking up my beads like my like small beads with my nails so I got a four packet of tweezers I'm gonna put that together and then I went to the like koi area and I found my dice now I actually already have these for myself as you guys know but I wanted to obviously sell you guys these because they're so fun I couldn't find them because when I picked them up it was like in Geelong when we did that trip to Geelong and I'm like, oh, I can't find them online. And then apparently my bloody TL store sells them. I got four packets, but to get a pair, you got to get two packets because they have the same colors. I can make them now. So I'm probably going to cut these open and put them in my storage. So you probably get some ASMR. That's pretty much all I've done. But I'm going to put my pliers and stuff in this and open the packages and put it in here and just organize it. That's pretty much it. Have fun. Oh, shit. Talk me and then we've got two or three. I don't know. Hi, Hi I'm Dag. Oh, we have Hell's Kitchen. Yeah. I look great. Look at me in the corner. Uh -huh. Hi. It's 2.17. Dad and I are going to watch Hell's Kitchen and then the boys. Excited to have Gordon scream oh, yeah. Previously on Hell's Kitchen. <laughs> Hello everyone and happy Thursday. It is currently 9 in the morning. Hello, welcome. This morning dad has a doctor's appointment so mum and myself are gonna go get some more shopping because we got like the minimum yesterday and forgot to get a majority of it. So you're gonna get a little montage, maybe actually, maybe not even film it, I'm not sure. There we go. Hi everyone. Mm. Bye. Good. <laughs> Last night, I don't really remember what I updated you on, which is very bad on my behalf. But like I was saying, I had a Instagram, FaceTime call, whatever, with my friend Lauren. She helped me out with my website because she has her own business and your girl does not know how to use the website. I'm using Shopify and I'm like trying to figure out everything. So she helped me out a buttload and I've just been doing my about page and stuff last night and I went to bed at like 11.30. It was great. But enjoy whatever happens and we will take the day by storm. Is that the saying? I think it is. Anyways, I thought someone was coming, but they're not. Okay, that was rude. So 
well, it's currently 12 50 i've just had some lunch but our doorbell rang and dad got a parcel and so did i didn't know this was coming today so i would have told you but you know didn't know it was coming this is some of my packaging so i bought 500 satchels poly mailers or whatever they're called and then a thousand pieces of cellophane bags to put my earrings in let's just open this and see what's inside because i have no idea i have no idea where to even put these because i'm gonna wait for all the packaging to come oh god i also don't know if this packaging is gonna work because again doing are they folded or is it the size of them because again i tried to measure what they would be like but again if you've done anything like this it's very hard to pick sizes or the measurements of stuff my battery's gonna die oh this is kind of small oh, i really hope that fits okay well this is the size i didn't know it was gonna be i thought it was gonna be bigger than that that's okay we'll figure it out but i'm gonna check my battery and then we can open these and see if these actually fit my earring cards which i'll do a little demonstration on <laughs> we're recharged and ready to go let's open these bad boys oh that's so cute. <laughs> so these are the little cellophane bags I'm going to put the earrings in. I also bought organza bags, like those little like see-through colored like tie-out bags. Put this in just so it's extra protected. But one thing I'm going to do is do a little test run. Oh, that was very smooth if the lighting wasn't bad. So I'm going to actually put these in one of these. Jesus, that was loud. Can I open it? Hello? Oh, got it. Ta -da. So if you don't know what these are, they're basically just literally plastic and then you can take this off and fold it over just so you don't have to package this by itself and like has more protection so i'm gonna whack my little aliens in i am so scared can you alien man thank you oh these aliens do not want to enter this little baggie do they so it's gonna look a bit odd if they're bigger than my card as you can see if it focuses once again it's a bit odd because the aliens go past my card and i measured my card into the measurements not the like charms but all you do is you just take this little thingy off and then you fold it down and then your earrings are in a clear package this is so official yeah. is that you is that you yeah what are you looking at what are you looking this is socks say hi to everyone hi socks <laughs> come on good girl dad's playing bejeweled right now i've just been doing some website things and now i'm gonna watch it there's dad there's corby and socks is there. Let's cry over a season finale of Blood and Guts, basically. Friday. I haven't updated you at all. I'm the worst person ever, but I have mail. <laughs> um, so a bunch more of my packaging arrived. This box here has padded mailers, like bubble mailers and organza bags that I was talking about yesterday, the day before. So you obviously saw me unbox the black satchels, um, but they're not padded like you saw. So I bought bubble mailers just in case if someone bought like one single pair. I'm not going to put that pair in a box. So I'll put it in a bubble mailer and protect it and all that stuff. These are the organza bags. So I got how many of these i got a hundred of each so i got a hundred blue ones and a hundred purple ones mum helped me out with the colors so the earrings when they're wrapped in the cellophane bag will go in these just for add a little cuteness i'll open them a little bit later but then i also got a hundred nope 200 pink padded mailers and i got them in a size 100 by 180 millimeters so they're not massive which is what i wanted oh they're just to fit like one or two single earrings they are fairly small i do know that someone's only gonna buy one earring like let's be honest they are fairly small maybe i should have went a size up but this is just pink padded bubble mailer you know and then you remove this pop it in stick your shipping label on it and ship it away i think maybe two packs will fit in there but i just don't think my thank you cards and stuff will fit in this but i got a hundred two hundred of these yeah i have a lot of this like oh my god there's a lot in there i don't really know where to put any of it but that's what's happening right now i'm just a little bit stressed over all of this business stuff so that's why i'm really vlogging that much but regardless i'm gonna try and update you guys with whatever i do today but if i don't it's just because i am working on a website that i don't want to show you guys yet obviously i guess i had to put all this stuff away Too 
Probably. With the little aliens I put in the cellophane bag yesterday, like this, I just got one of these because this one has a hole in it. So I just wanted to test it out and then I just popped it in here and that's what it's going to look like. Now, some of them are going to be too big. So these are for Rhiannon. They have little Yodas and this doesn't fit in the cellophane bag. So I just put them in the bag without the cellophane. So I wanted to get like two versions because I know some of these, like if someone gets a duck or something, it's going to be way too big to fit in the cellophane bag. But with these, it's big enough to hold the much larger charm. I guess. I'm gonna test out a new earring that I want to try out but I just wanted to show you that. That's the update. Happy f Friday? Friday. Wait, I'm gonna hide and then pop up because I'm such a surprise. Wait, wait, wait. Hi everyone. How are we? I'm back guys. <laughs> Did you miss me? Oh, it's zoomed in. Do you want me to fix it? No, I've got it. There we go. Hello, everyone. I'm back at the Bensonator's house. I just got my hair cut. Do we, do we like it? My hairdresser is amazing. I got a new hairdresser because the old one was scary and tried to kiss me all the time. Shout out to Sammy. I don't think Sammy's going to watch me channel, though, friend. No, he's not. But um, who wants a fit check? Okay, I'll give it to you anyway. I haven't even really spoken to Chloe. I just got here. <laughs> Um, this is from Ganda. This underneath, you can see, is from Cotton On. It says Brown University. These are Nike Air Forces. These are from Cotton On. And they're corduroy. And I am just delicious. Okay, anyway. Wait, have you showed them what you're doing? Are we allowed to? Yeah. <gasps> Sneak peek. Not Look at her. New. Look at her in the Udi. Use code whatever. Use code Francesco30 at checkout for $30 off your purchase. Do I get a code at your store? Do you want a code at my store? I just want one of your cards. Do you like that? Guys, look how cute and professional her business is. Well, that's the template. Maybe don't show them on that one. Oh, okay then. Blur that out. Can we just appreciate the effort that Chloe Benson's put into this business? If she doesn't get 600 orders on the first day... <laughs> oh, please do not! 600 orders and I'll be here to cheer on. Help? No. Cheer on? Yes. Vlog it? Maybe. Vlog it? Yes, definitely. <laughs> Ew, don't. <laughs> Hi, Mum. There's Mum. There's mom. There's mom. God, I don't know if I like what I'm wearing today or not. Look at oh, you it's still trying recording. to be helpful. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Happy Saturday. It's 9.50. Just got a package. I'll open mine later, but these are our new hoodies. These are mostly pre-orders. Merry Christmas. I got an orange bag. It's so cute. Mommy, come pick me. These were going to be matching. Eeyaw. This is so cute. Are we happy that we pre-ordered it? Oh, yeah. it smells like a display home. Oh, Dad's going to look superior to everyone. Dad got doggies. Look, how do you feel about your first Udi? Oh, that's lovely. <laughs> this is Corby's. He's trying to show you. <laughs> so this was a pre-order because everyone wanted the Winnie the Pooh ones. Look at that. Oh, fancy. Oh, Corby looks cute too. Oh. This is Corey's new one. Oh. So it's got all that. Exciting. The mum got the exact same. And then Daddy got German Shepherds. Oh, he's still wearing yeah. it. Okay. <laughs> I like this one. Better my unicorn. Sorry about it. And then this is a close-up of Dad's. He got doggies. Got German Shepherds. Doggies. Do you like it? Oh yeah. <laughs> Bless you. Well, that's our morning. This is the whole gang. But yeah, this is our little order. And then I have boxes that came in the mail. But we are probably gonna get ready for the day. And we're gonna go out. Which one's your favourite? I think this one's my favourite. Looking clueless with the bottle of honey. honey. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. We need a poo poo. Poo poo. Okay, thumbs up for calling. Hello everyone. It's almost 10.30. So I'm going to open up these parcels and then we're going to go out after lunch. So I'm going to block that off because that's my address. But those two are the medium sized boxes. There's 50 pieces in each. And those two are my small ones. Let's open this up. Oh, fun. Ooh, okay. How do I make them? That's a box. So I have two boxes of these. These are 50 in each box. So they're a little bit smaller than I thought they would be. But I did measure them. But I'll still use them either way. These are the medium ones. I made the box. Here's my boxes.
Hey, so guys, I am so sorry for not updating you like at all this morning. It is literally seven o'clock. I've just had some dinner this morning. Actually, I did two or two this morning because I had packages and the Udi and stuff came this morning. But after that, we had lunch at home, and then after lunch, we went to the shops because I needed to get a couple of things, and Dad needed to do something for work. I should take these off. Shouldn't have the glitter. It was really bad. And I got a couple of things. So I'm gonna show you what I got. But I didn't film really much anything at the shopping center because it's a Saturday, and there was so many people, and I don't like a lot of people. Like, it makes me very anxious. That's why I didn't film a lot, because it's obviously a lot of people. But all this stuff is from Kmart, and all of it is for P&T Co. Because I need stuff for my business, obviously. So, so I basically honestly went in for this. <laughs> um, This is a heart wax seal stamp. And I'm going to use this for my packaging, or try to. And I got some um, wax seal strips. Strips? Sticks. It's just a little love heart. I was going to get a personalized one. I still might, but I don't know. But that's that. Fun. And then, really quickly, I'll go through the rest i got some jute rope again i'm going to use this for my business and packaging most of it's for packaging because i'm trying to find what my packaging is going to be you know anyways um i needed to get a exacto knife thing craft cutter and i need to get this to cut my clay with and then i got two packets of hemp look cord i'm going to make key rings out of these for the family i also grabbed some more beads but mum really likes these so i might make something for her with these but these are just 50 grams of pastel little beadies these are like three dollars and speaking of beads this was in the kids section and this is a four tray craft bead set the holes are small enough to actually put earrings on which i'm so happy about because some of these charms are really cute this was like 20 dollars, obviously compared to you know one single packet but i did want to just like pay a gamble and see what's in there that's everything for the business and i just have a pajama set again from kmart this is a size 22 these were 15 dollars. it's just a plaid set and i'm excited because they're actually really cute and i can always wear my audio over this as well but they're really cute i like these color combos green and pink look really good together but that's everything I got. I'm going to put all of this stuff away. So like put it like actually away in my units and stuff. And then mum and I have RuPaul's Drag Race to watch. It's the Australian version and it's the grand final. And I want to watch it straight away because I don't want to like spoil myself and like see who wins and like never watch it again. Hopefully I'm happy with the winner. If not, I will probably cry. I like two people out of the top four. So let's hope one of them wins, eh? I don't know if I'm going to update you the rest of the night. That's what's happening. Sorry for not updating you. I apologize. But I'm going to open some beads and then I can put everything away. Hi everyone, um, I'm an idiot and didn't end the vlog, so here we are. But welcome, I didn't film anything on the Sunday. It is now the following week and I'm vlogging again, so enjoy that whenever that comes out. But I basically just finished editing the current video you're about to finish off and it is a long one, so I just want to apologize for how long it is. Honestly, filming it, I thought I was not going to have any footage, but editing it, there's a lot. So I'm sorry, but I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. It was obviously very in-depth and there's a lot of announcements and stuff, which is very exciting and a lot of hauls and stuff what else is new with me but hope you guys enjoyed this video if you give a thumbs up for me if you're new here please subscribe and make one video a week for you guys but it's very interesting so don't worry all my social media links and everything about my business and everything i mentioned in today's video will be linked down below like always remember to spread love and stay positive and i'll see you guys in my next one bye everyone